Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the steps of installing Docker on a Windows 10 PC. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the minimum requirements. So we're doing a Windows setup, so you're gonna need a Windows 10 or Windows 11, 64-bit version of Windows Home, Professional, Enterprise, or education and they need to be fully updated. You'll need the WSL2 installed on Windows 10 or 11. Your computer should be a 64-bit processor with a second level address translation, four gigs of RAM, and virtualization needs to be enabled in the BIOS. If you find this guide useful, you can do me a favor by smashing that like button. What it does is it helps you reach as many users as possible and I greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and start installing Docker. So here we are at the Windows 10 desktop. And the first thing that we wanna make sure is that virtualization is already enabled. So what we wanna do is right click on the taskbar and go to task manager. When you click on task manager, we're gonna click on the performance tab and right over here under virtualization, it says enabled. Now, if you don't have virtualization enabled, you need to do this at the BIOS level. So when you reboot your computer, you have to hit something like F1 or F10 or whatever your computer system requires and then you go into the BIOS, and then you want to enable virtualization like I'm showing you here and on a Dell PC as an example. Now, once you have that enabled, you reboot your computer and you can go back into your task manager and you should now see that the virtualization option is enabled. So let's close out of this window. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and install Docker. And we're gonna open up our browser. I'm gonna be putting this URL in the description below. This is to download the Docker for Windows 10. It'll also work with Windows 11. So we scroll down a bit here and you can see that we have the option to download Docker. Click on that and it'll download here. It's about 500 megs. So I'll go ahead and I'll open that up. We get a user control prompt. We can just click on yes. And now it's gonna download the package and begin the installation phase. This will take a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add a desktop shortcut just to make it easier. And we wanna make sure that this option is enabled because we require this. So use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V and then click on okay. Okay, the installation is now complete. We can just click on close. And you can see over here on our desktop, we have the Docker icon. We'll just double click on the icon to open up the window. And what we need to do is accept the service agreement in order for us to proceed. So we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, check the box and then select accept. And now Docker is starting up and we get an option over here to go through the tutorial. Uh, you don't have to go through this. You can actually just select this option over here to skip the tutorial. And we have no containers running right now. In order to get started with running a default container, you can go ahead and do this. I definitely recommend doing updates first. At the main screen over here, you can see that in the left-hand corner, we have a engine running and it's green. If you see this red or orange and it's not lit up green, you probably need to update your WSL kernel. So what you can do is, I'll make sure I link this in the description below. This is directly from Microsoft and you can go ahead and download the latest package. You just have to click on the link. It'll download it, it's about 16 megs in size. And then we can click on that and open it up and it's just gonna install this uh, kernel update package. So that's already done and we can click on finish. And that's an additional step. Now you may not have to do this step at all, but it's definitely required if you're installing some nodes and I can just minimize this window and we're good to go. So now that we have everything installed, I'm gonna quickly just restart my computer. I notice I have issues with Windows 10 after installing Docker, so it's a good idea to just reboot your system. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, and the computer's booted back up. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And here we are at the desktop. I'm just gonna load up Docker again, make sure it's running fine. Okay, so here we are inside Docker. That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. And now I'm gonna open up PowerShell. Okay, when you open up PowerShell, you wanna make sure you run it as administrator. Say yes to the prompt. And I have PowerShell now opened. And the first thing I can do is just make sure it's installed by checking the version. So I'll just type in Docker space dash dash and then version and then hit enter. And there you go. So there's the latest version that's installed and that's how you do it. That's how you install Docker on a Windows 10 PC. If you can follow the exact same steps for Windows 11. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.